Hey, good afternoon everybody. This is John again from Volkswagen Planet and today it is a cool 68 degrees right now in Tampa, Florida, but when I first woke up it was uh, I think 53, 54. That's the uh, local in the daily weather report. I know some of you guys like that. You've commented in the previous videos. So let's get on to today's video. So uh, in front of you, what you can see is I got the Bentley manual out also known as the Bible and what I wanted to do was start grabbing a wire and start you know getting the wire ends together and replacing these extra wires that I've uh, talked about in previous videos and I'm going to show you what exactly I mean by extra wires this is my scrap box for uh, wires that I've taken out of the 1974 standard beetle and I still got the uh, turn signals and everything else out but instead of just cutting the uh, harness and everything else, I went and took every single, well, as much wire as I possibly could. And to save the clips, to save the ends. But this is just a, uh, a sample of one of the, the boxes that I have of extra wire. And uh, so instead of just replacing it and try to remember what you did, now I can say, oh, here's a white wire with a black stripe. Or this is a better better photo a black wire with a white stripe or if I needed to add on or splice into a gray wire with a red stripe you know you get the idea but everything um, is in here these toasts are great these are on sale right now at Home Depot I think I spent uh, $9.95 for them but wait till they go on sale right around Christmas time they go down to $6.99 so check those out but I'm going to show you what I actually came across today while um, wiring the beetle so let me go in into the uh, front of the car so as always if you've been following my videos I uh, tend to start on one thing and end up finding something else and today was no um, out of the ordinary so I started by hooking up the emergency flasher switch to try to get this going to get my headlights started so that's where it started and then I decided to start looking around and you know I get easily distracted so I started looking at what this wire does and what that wire does so I started trying to figure this out looked at the uh, Bentley manual and I came across this pretty interesting uh, connection that all I had to do was find this wire that went from the plug into the switch because mine got cut and was actually a uh, piece of electrical tape so instead of trying to piece it back together I set of something like this you know some some janky stuff you know it's all cut up I just take and replace these wires with factory wires out of the box and I came across something pretty interesting that even at all the bugs I've owned, I've never seen or I've never had this uh, option work on my bugs. So let me ch take you to the inside and show you what I'm talking about. So some of you guys have uh, been following the videos. You guys know that I actually got the backlights on the uh, speedometer to actually start working, which was a positive thing. Uh, you can't see it now because of the daylight, but um, I got the um, headlight switch. I got that to work. I got the uh, some of the turn signals. I got both the taillights, but this is what I'm really proud of, and I kind of was shocked because I never knew this light existed. I didn't even know this um, even worked. So let me show you what I'm talking about. When you turn the key on, I was going to uh, try to get the generator light to come on to get to that step. So I went to turn. That's why I wired that one bulb up and replaced the wires. So I turned the key. Still get nothing on the generator or the, the uh, oil light. I know I've got both hooked up. Could be a bad bulb, uh, but we'll check that here in a minute. But this is what shocked me. And... This uh, feature, I guess you could say, 
is available, I know at least on the 72 Super Beetle, because that's what we're talking about today. So let me show you. Again, turn the ignition on. I looked down, didn't see nothing on the oil generator. But as we, as we scroll back, look what came on. That, that is the dual circuit brake switch. And what this does is it comes on as a warning light. And then when you crank the car over, this should go out just like the uh, generator and the or the alternator and oil light does. So at all uh, the several years I've been driving Volkswagens, even owning a '71 Super Beetle, I never have this light switched on, or this this light hooked up. So comment below if yours uh, works or if you didn't even know that light existed or came on. And um, some of these vehicles don't even have it. So I'm going to take, take you around to some of my cars and show you um, if this is a specific thing. According to the book, it was up to 70 or starting in 72, but uh, not all vehicles have this. So let's go take a little tour. Okay, so now we're sitting in the 1970 Super Beetle. This is what the light work uh, looks like. And from what I've been reading in the books, you can push this in the older ones and to test the circuit on the uh, the brake switch. I don't know, but uh, I'm thinking about hooking the uh, battery up to this, and that could be in an up-and-coming video. So let's go take a look at the 74 standard and see if that even has a switch that we're talking about today. All right, as you can see, this is the 1974 standard Beetle. That uh, whole system is not even there. So... Um, I guess it's only available in the, the Super Beetles, but I thought it was pretty neat. I've never seen that light up as long as I've been um, driving Super Beetles or driving 68 newer cars. As you can still tell, I've still got some really good switches there I can use. And let's go to the front real quick. This is what I wanted to show you. So what I've been doing in that big box, I've been taking these wires out like almost one by one or chunks at a time so I can actually still keep the wires to the factory, all the factory colors. So if you guys need a specific wire and uh, you're really trying to keep your stuff OEM, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to um, accommodate your needs, but uh, that's what I've been doing. So I wanted to show you what I've been doing today. It's not that bad of weather, so I um, wanted to do this. And as you can tell, one thing always leads to another, and that's where I'm at. This is all the headlight switch. Like I said, I still got everything. All the headlights, wires, the grounds, and uh, th this car even still has the, uh, the tag on it. So like, comment, share, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, leave a comment or don't. Stay warm, God bless, and we'll catch you on the next video, guys. Take care.